All right, tomorrow is game three of the World Series between the Houston Astros and the Philadelphia Phillies. This is the first World Series since 1950 that no U.S. born black players will be playing in the game. Tonight, we're hearing from a former MLB player and a local high school baseball coach who say they're disappointed, but not surprised. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez shares their thoughts and what changes they hope to see. On a one stop, grounds one to second for Altuve. He's got it. And the Astros have a win in game two. This year's World Series between the Astros and Phillies is the first in decades without any black American born players. We had, you know, players that looked like, you know, me and the people I grew up around. And uh, it's kind of sad to see that it's gotten to this point. Dallas Booker is a baseball coach at Morris High School. He says the expenses of playing baseball is a major factor, making the sport less appealing. Former Major League player Jock Jones agrees. You get cleats and they'll run you $100, $200. You get a glove, that'll run you $200, $300. You get a bat, that'll run you another $200 or $300. And you got to pay registration. Uh, uh, these travel ball teams is a couple thousand dollars a pop. Not only that, baseball scholarships are harder to earn with Division I teams only having 11.7 scholarships to divide between a maximum of 27 players. More scholarships for black students and more promotion from the MLB could help. Baseball is a $10 billion industry, or maybe more now. Uh, and I, I've always said I believe that Major League Baseball should step in and, and, and supply scholarships for baseball so that more kids can have a chance, be afforded a chance to play at the collegiate level. Jones adds that taking a look at how the NFL operates could help the MLB. The NFL does a good job at targeting everybody, you know, so maybe, you know, baseball can can do a, a better job at um, targeting all demographics. They say they're keeping their hopes high for the future of baseball. Last summer was the first time in MLB draft history that four of the first five players selected were black Americans. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8. All right, a way to go there, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Golf is kind of the same way, right? I mean, it's a very expensive sport. Yep. And so we're kind of seeing the same thing with those demographics. You are absolutely Got to come right. up with a way a to lot of, get it to the I will add this. A lot of sports are expensive. I'm a cheerleader. It's expensive to get yes. into them. When we have barriers to opportunities, then we have a lack of opportunity. That is the truth. All right. Today, advocate.